Now, actually, all these choices sound kind of weird, don't they? But the, the right one is this third one here. And the reason that this actually works is if you search using the algorithm that we've been looking at, if you search from V1 for something that's not in the graph at all, what it's going to do, it's just going to keep searching and searching and searching and searching and building shortest paths to all the nodes it encounters along the way until it discovers that the node that it's looking for just isn't there. At the end of that process, every single node in the graph will have a shortest path from, uh, will be notated, annotated with the shortest path from V1 to that node. So the running time here is just the time it takes to do a single search, big theta of n plus m, and then you get the answer for all the nodes in the graph. 